<laughs> so yes, flies do get annoying sometimes, but there is something interesting that we can learn from them as well. There is a common misconception about the way people think that the fly sees the world. Many think that the image looks something like this, when in fact the image is much more like this, which is basically a single image that it has a quite low resolution. Obviously the question then is, how is this image formed? Well, if we would zoom in and in into the eye of the fly, we would notice that it is made of many small facets. Each facet, in fact, is a part of a rod-shaped structure called a matidium. Each matidium is made of two parts, one that captures the light and one that absorbs the light. When the light is reflected from an object, it enters the light capturing part. And in that part, there is a lens. And the lens then focuses the light onto the photoreceptor cells in the light absorbing part of the amatidium. In these photoreceptor cells, there are many different pigments that can absorb light of different wavelengths. When the pigment absorbs the light, a signal is sent to the brains of the fly, which process the image and basically tell the fly what it sees. A thing to note about the way the image is formed is that each amatidium in the eye of the fly acts as an isolated structure. That is, each amatidium gives information about only a certain piece of the whole image. You can think of it, uh, you can think about it as, as a puzzle. Um, each piece of the puzzle is the same as each omatidium, and only when all of the pieces come together, the full image is formed. If a fly would lack a few pieces of the puzzle, that is, it would lack a few omatidia, then the image would not be full. Another thing to note is that the number of amatidia per eye determine the resolution of the image. In fact, flies typically have 400 amatidia per eye, which does not give a very good image. For a fly to have the same resolution image as human eye can generate, it basically would have to have eyes of 11.7 meter radius, which is quite huge. On the other hand, the resolution for a fly is maybe not such a big deal. It's much more important to be, to be able to detect the movement well. And in fact, that's probably something you have already noticed yourself. That is, it is quite hard to catch a fly. It usually flies away faster than you can hit it. The eyes of the fly can detect movement so well because they act at higher frames per second rate. For example, movies in cinema are typically made at 24 frames per second. And that's all good for a human eye to fuse and form a single moving image. But for a fly, movies should be made at least 300 frames per second to achieve the same thing. The 24 frames per second movie would look for a fly just as a single frames flashing by and by. And that's basically the way the eyes of the fly work. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learned something new today.